Hallo allemaal, mijn naam is Joy en welkom terug bij Undertale. Nou, dat was my intro in Dutch. Uh, somebody requested it, so I figured why not. The rest of the episode will be in English, though. Now, it's been a while since I played this game. I hadn't forgotten about it and oh. Oh, wait a minute, I had already been here. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I actually had to look up where I left off last time. But luckily I remember now. I remember I was fighting a dog and that dog is this way. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go that way yet. I'm gonna explore down here first. See if there's anything else to it. Hello there, son. Can I talk to you? Oh, there you go. Oh god, did I have a voice for this guy? I don't remember. What's up? Oh, that, that's all? Alright then. What are you? Hi there. Oh, you teleported. Are you lost? Apparently so. A gift threat confronts you. Oh my. Act gift threats. Check and decorate gift or decorate. Well, it already looks so pretty. Why would I decorate it? Let's see. Um, let me check them out. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Oh, okay, is that what it's unhappy about? Is that its problem? Is this funny to you? Okay, so it's embarrassed. So I need to undecorate it, I'd imagine. If you could stop snowing on me, that would be great. Give throat lemons its lack of hands. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna undecorate it. You remove a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parents. That's a little better. See, he's already doing better. But you're still gonna attack me, aren't you? Oh god, what, what, what? Oh! Did I get it? Gift threat is sli slightly less irritated. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna undecorate you more. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. Well, that's no good. You can. That's animal abuse. That's a little better. Okay. Oh, I ran right into that. Oh god, I have. Really? Did I die? Oh no. How many times have I unnecessarily died in this game? I don't even remember. Oh, I gotta do this again. Luckily, I now know that puzzle by heart, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna go this way anyway, just to see if I can battle the dog again. Let's see, did we take a look at this? All right, Z, I, I forgot I need to press Z. It's a snow puff. A pretty bitty snow puff. And this is a snow puff. What a tiny dog house. Woof. Okay, thank you for that. This, however, is a snow puff. Thank you for informing me. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. It's re is it really a snow puff? Oh god, we're getting into existential questions right now. Behold, a snow puff. Uh, there's 30 gold inside this. What is this? Okay, can I just walk past you, possibly? And not select the snow puff, because I know this snow puff... Oh, no, there he goes. No, this snow puff's got a boner. Hello, doggy. Okay, I just gotta get better at avoiding the attacks, because I'm really, really bad at that. It's the greater dog. Oh, I forgot to set this music. Okay. Let's see. Greater dog. Let's pet you. Greater dog is too far away to pet you. Just pet the air. Bug, 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 bug. Oh, my. Okay, okay. Grey dog is watching you intently. Okay, let's, let's... Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to fight you. How do I get back? Okay, shift. Shift is how we get back. I remember I struggled with that last time. Um... Back in... Okay, so he was, he was too far away, so let's back in him. You call the greater dog. It bounces towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh... Okay, so I get the feeling that when it's blue, Greater Dog is seeking affection. Greater, well, let's pet you. And hopefully not die. Curls up in your lap as it sits pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. I'm sure it is. Ow, ow. Could you, could you not kill me with your excitement? That would be great. Greater Dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Okay, so do you want to play now? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splatters on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Thank you. Now dog is very tired. It rests his head on you. Okay, so now I gotta pet you again. Oh, did you just turn white the second I hit it? See, I suck at this game.
There's a dog barking outside. Is it mocking me? Okay, you have to actually go through all the snow puffs to get the 30 gold. So I'm gonna go back and save real quick. And I, I can show you a little cute little detail. Look at his head. He's got a head on his head. Isn't that cute? I hope the puzzle still works though. That I don't have to redo that. But even if I do, it doesn't really matter that much. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Right. Save. And hopefully I can make at least some progress now in this episode. That would be marvelous. Oh, really? Oh, it's a house. That's cute. Um, okay, I gotta give one more try to the doggy. And then I'm gonna just try and try and try and stop recording. Like, and start recording again until I got it. Because this is getting embarrassing. Oh, I should, should I have taken an item? I don't know how full on health I am at the moment. Oh my god, I hit it every single time as soon as it turns white. Greater Dog wants some TLC, which I assume means tender love and care. Um, let's bet you again. I should bet the dog. It sinks its entire weight into you. You're moving slow. Oh my. But you still haven't pet enough. How am I supposed to do that? Because it, it, it was blue and it still hit me. If anybody can explain to me how that works, that would be great, because I have no clue. I'm gonna go back to Sans again, because screw that dog, I'll figure that out later. What's up? Well, I'm dying apparently. Say, are you following me? No? Alright, this one again, okay. Let's undecorate this bitch. You removed the striped cane that says I used this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. Gift trap problems have been taken away. Okay, so can I... Your name is not yellow yet, so... Oh, I can spare you. I can spare. You earned 0 XP and 20 gold. Oh, why are you making that face at me? That is every kind of not okay. Alright, let's enter this cave then, I suppose. I hope I'm not missing out on any content by not defeating the dog. But I will come back to that later and do that in between episodes if I can. It's a door. Can I open the door? That's a cute sound. Oh, is that the five nets of Freddy's sound where you push on the nose? I think it is. It's a door. Very well then. I don't suppose we can go any further. So I think I have to defeat that dog. Oh my. Is there anything that I can do to make that easier on myself? Oh, I equipped the ribbon. I did not mean to do that. But don't I look fabulous now? Maybe this will help me. Maybe this will help me in my endeavors. Maybe it's armor. I have no idea. All right, snow dog. Bring it on. Somebody's gonna have to explain that to me. Pet capacity is 40%. Okay, I'm gonna take an item. Uh, bandage. You reapplied the bandage, still kind of gooey. You recover 10 HP. Oh, okay, I'd already used that. Oh god, don't ruin it right now, please. No, stop. Okay. Okay, let me let me let me pet you again. You pet decisively, pet capacity reaches hundred percent. The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. Uh, oh no, 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 greater dog is contented. Okay. Mercy, mercy, I beg you. You won. Zero XP, 40 gold. Bye, doggy. Yeah, I'm gonna go run back and save real quick. That's nice. <laughs> oh, I, got a, I had a snow doggy on my head. That was cute. Okay, we have bested the mighty beast. And I fear what may lay ahead. But let's go. Let's hopefully continue this story now. Oh, a uh, hangbridge over this ravine. Ah, there we go. I expected something to go wrong, but I could have expected this one. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Uh, why the dog? When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each pot will swing violently up and down. 
only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. I can't move. That, um, don't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yes, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Okay. Well, thank you for sparing my life and not swinging that poofy dog at my face. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I'd understand blue attacks. Yes. Do you... Tell me. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you... I don't understand blue attacks. Please explain to me. I thought that when it was blue, I could go through it, but apparently not. Or I was just so terribly unlucky that every single time I got it just as it turned white. I don't understand blue attacks. What was that pretty flower? No, I can't interrupt with that. Welcome to Snowden. I got the hiccups. And I can save. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Let's save. Oh, that's my box. Use the box? Yes, let's use the box. Let's see. I got a tough glove, but can't I equip that? I could put the snowman piece in there because he just wanted me to take him to the ends of the world and this box will go with me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all good, I suppose. Now, let's equip my... Use. You equip the tough glove. Yes. Like that. Like so. Okay, save again. I'm, I'm a little bit of a specific saver here, but I, I have to do that. I just want to make sure. Now let's enter the shop. Let's see. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Let's talk first. Care to chat? Uh, say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Uh, what to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do that thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and... asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Okay, well I can imagine that. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fussy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Ah, oh, I can never return. I can never return to my ruins and to the sweet, sweet woman who helped me. Your life. Our life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles Day after day, sorry, I heard a weird sound. That's life, ain't it? Okay. So, let's talk about buying. A tough glove, a manly bandana. It has abs on it, oh. Seven defense, plus four defense. Bicycle, heels. Oh, a bicycle, oh, okay. Heels, 11 HP twice, eat it twice. Cinnamon bun, it's my own recipe. See, a manly bandana, that sounds pretty good. How much would you like to buy? Oh, I got I got quite some gold actually. Uh yes. And I give me one of those bicycles, I could use them. 
Actually, give me one of those. You can never invest good enough in potions, in my opinion. I have a tough glove, so I don't need the rest. Uh, let's see, do I want to sell anything? Huh? Sell something? This does look like a pawn shop. I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. That actually makes a lot of sense. Thank you for making sense. Bye now, come again sometime. I certainly will. Now let's explore the inn for a bit. That's actually, that makes a lot of sense because in Skyrim you can sell rocks basically and feathers and they're pretty much obligated to buy your stuff. Oh, hello there. You can't enter this place. Who's that? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. Why not just 80 gold? No, no thank you. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Let's see, what is up there? If I can go? No, I can't. Okay, well, I guess I can sleep here if I need to and restore my health. But I, there's a save point right here, so I don't really see the point of that. Don't want to walk in the other side of town? Try the undersnow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh, I expect that those are that, but I'm not gonna use them just yet. Isn't my little cinema just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. You're a bunny walking a bunny. Or is that your child? I'm confused. This is like Disney logic. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. I get what you mean, bro. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. That's where that came from. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. That's cute. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Well, yeah, I don't really see a lot of adults wearing striped shirts anymore. That's pretty much only acceptable when you're a child, I guess. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. What? That's politics. I don't know if that was like a clever reference or just a reference to what's happening in the game, but I guess I'll see about that. Oh my. Is this the tough part of town? Why are you on fire? Is that what your name is, Grillbees? Do you grill stuff above your face? I'm not sure if that's the type of hygiene I'm all about. Grillbees said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay, the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Uh, I don't want to see the erase of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. The jukebox is broken. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She is rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Sounds like my kind of lady. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of efficiency. Oh, well, I'm taking that seriously. Oh, this is the guy who left out the fishing rod. Is that what it is with the number on it? I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Well, if you are a fish, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Okay, oh, I, I couldn't move that for a second. I thought he was just looking around if somebody could help him. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh my, story of my life. Hey, puppy. Oh, okay, you're not. You're just gonna make a face. Okay, hi there, doggy. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, "Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please." Yes, you should. You totally should. It will go well with your shirt. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I know. I know. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bugs. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Yeah, that's pretty gross when you think about it. If anybody has an alternative, I gladly take it. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. 
Help, I want new drinks and her, her hot guys. Oh my, I can so relate to these characters. Okay. What about you? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. A dreariness crowding lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. What are you? We all know the underground is problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? I'm not sure what morose means, that's probably a very fancy English word. But why are you dressed up like Satan? Or perhaps you simply are Satan and you're not dressing up as anything, I'm sorry. Okay, let me go back to save. I know, I know I'm spastic about it, but I gotta do it. Alright, we've come across a bit of a crossroad here. Library? I really like the music. It's like a Christmas theme part. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Oh, I hadn't even noticed yet. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? No, I would just say that. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Well, good. That's good news. I can only await a world like that. Were you? Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me the word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground and I switched accents about every phrase. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Ah, oh, that's deep, man. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city. Home. We braved harsh the cold, damp swampland and searching, searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Okay, I think I have to start on this side because that was like part four. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as hack. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and, s dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. That's pretty interesting. That's kind of what humans do sometimes as well. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. A bullet pattern birthday card? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Okay, so that means something, right? Because I know... Okay, this, we already read this, but I know that your playthrough of the first time will affect your second playthrough. I do not know how much it will affect it, but I know that it does, or at least I've heard. I'm, I don't actually know anything. Never mind that. Library B. Yeah, Library B. Oh my. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure. It's empty. Ah, oh, oh, that sounds. Ah, oh, that's so sad. It's locked. Well, obviously it will be. It's locked from the inside. Ah, oh, okay, so I can go back and forth between the city parts right here. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. This gives me a quick access to a save point. That is good. That is something I very much appreciate. Safe. I wonder what that works on. I mean, do I just run really fast through it, or what does it do? Okay, well, let's just keep going this way and see if we can go upstairs. See if we can go up later. What is that block doing there? What is happening? Am I freezing to death? Or is that fog? 
Hi, Paris. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No, th this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. I'm not gonna fight you. No, oh no, 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 no. Are you like Mold Small? Do I have to flirt with you? Let's check him out first. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say... <laughs> that doesn't really... Papyrus is cackling. Okay, well, let's flirt with you. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. And I'm a child. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Mm, what do I do? I have zero redeeming quali <clears throat> Redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date. L later, after I capture you. Let's. Let's Papyrus. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. I think you look just marvelous. Um... Flirt a bit more. Oh no. L let's date later. A after I capture you. Oh no, I'm supposed to insult him. I don't want to insult him. That's so mean. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. I'm just gonna keep flirting for a little while and see what happens. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later. After I get no, I don't. I'm not gonna fight you. No. Okay. What if I insult you? What if I just blatantly insult you? Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ears. Insult. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. <sighs> Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. I really don't think acting is gonna help all that much. It seems acting would escalate this battle. I don't want to hit you, man. Okay, wait, what if I let him hit me? Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. You don't have ears. Oh no, you hit me. Oh no. Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. I don't want to fight you, man. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to give you a slight tap. So, you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, ass. What do blue attacks do? You're blue now. Dabba dee dabba die. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Why am I blue? Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later after I capture you. Oh no, it's Flappy Bird. Oh no. Okay, I can do this. Papyrus dabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. What am I gonna do about that? What? I'm not thinking about that day thing. Huh. Huh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Papyrus, why? I thought. Papyrus left empty deep buried beauty yogurt item. I need. And I. Um, a bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle, you'll cover 11 HP. Hold up longer to jump higher, jeez. Oh, is that how that works? Oh, thank you. Okay, but you're still jumping, you're not flying. Ooh, I can do this. My parents realizes he doesn't have ears. Right, what? Just as I was about to say. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna attack him again and then not do anything anymore. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh, Papyrus, you're so special. Oh, you ass. Nobody's special. Oh, God. Papyrus is rattling his bones. I'm gonna take another item because I don't wanna have to do this again. A unicycle. I can almost taste my future popularity. Papyrus, get, get, please, can you just stop this? Oh, what do I do? Papyrus remembers a bad joke San told and is frowning. Okay, that I had way more trouble with that. No, I'm not gonna flirt again. I'm not gonna. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you just gonna continue until I'm dead? Smiles like bones. I gotta continue doing this for a while. Papyrus, an unparalleled spaghettor. Are you kidding me? Rattling his bones. What do I do? Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh, 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 oh I jumped too early. Ha. Ha. Oh, no. Oh, n Oh, please. For the love of God. You eat one half of the bicycle. You recover 11 HP. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh my god, what are you doing to me, Papyrus? Why? 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 Papyrus is considering his options. I can't do that yet. Fight. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. I forgot the button. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Well, bone away, Papyrus. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But what, are you coming to the realization that you actually do not want to fight me? Papyrus is rattling his bones. Uh, you recovered 11 HP. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? No one will love you like I do, Papyrus. No one. Oh, shit. Oh god, this is Flappy Bird. This is just pure and play Flappy Bird. It's preparing a bone attack. Someone like you is really rare. Oh, skills. Papyrus is trying to ha hard to play it cool. Okay, so I just gotta keep letting him attack me and try my best. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Vice is trying hard to play a cool item. A toy knife, stick and ice cream. Let's let's take an ice cream. Have a wonderful day. You recovered 15 HP after you're captured and sent away. Oh my god, can I stop failing? Can I stop failing real quick? That would be nice. But Paris is preparing a bone attack. Can I please just let me try to flirt again. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Ah, who cares? I give up. 
I'm gonna give up. My parents is trying hard to play cool. What do I do? Do I flirt again? Give up or face my special attack. I'm willing to give up. I am perfectly willing to give up. Oh, ass. My parents is trying hard to play it cool. I should just hit him. I use Z. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. No, 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 that was unexpected. That was stabbed me in the back. Oh my god, I don't know. Toy knife, stick, or man. You equip manly banana. Not so long I use that special attack. I'm not gonna make this. Ass. Papyrus has whispered me. <laughs> I have no more healing items, I think. I think. Maybe, maybe. Uh. This is your last chance before my special attack. Just kill me. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the cap capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, a garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> okay, so I had to be defeated by him. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Yeah, fully yours, Papyrus. It's a squeaky chewy toy. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. Oh no. It's too small to sleep on. Oh, look at the mousey. There's the mouse again. Oh, it's not even here. Even the mouse doesn't want to stay here. But oh, are those the bars again? Oh, I just walked out. Of course, because of the bars. Oh god, that took way longer than it should have. I should just have let him beat me. Uh, this game is hard to figure out, but it's fun. It's it, I think it's so much more fun to figure this out than to try and kill everyone. I mean, what would even happen? What would happen if you would kill the characters? The side of such a friendly town. Yeah, okay, we read this. And I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna end this episode here so thank you so much for watching i wanted to continue on for a little bit longer here the next episode will probably be undertale as well but i wanted i felt like doing an extra long episode this time because i hadn't uploaded yesterday and the day before because i had tests and stuff like that so i'm sorry about that but i hope to be back at it as soon as possible so anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye